Last night in my group membership program, my coaching program, uh, one of my clients wants to create a workshop and she wants to turn it into a whole bunch of different things. She knows that when she has this workshop, she can then create blog posts for it, use it for social media, send emails to her list. Like she knows that this is an important thing she needs to do, creating her signature talk. And you have something you want to do. You want to create a business or maybe you want to start a blog or whatever it is, there's something that you want to put out to the world. You want to help the world in some way. The big question that my clients have is, how do I get more clients? The number one thing that you need to do is to learn exactly who your audience is. So last night with my client who, hi mom, um, my client who had the, um, the workshop in her mind, she was like, she was really all over the place with the the information that she was going to give them and she was speaking kind of over their head she's a scientist and she was using really sciencey words and i was like who is your audience and she ex she explained her audience she knew who, exactly who her audience was and guess what her audience is not scientists so guess what she should not be talking to them in a scientific kind of fashion. People need to be able to receive what you have to teach. So the very first thing you need to do, regardless of where you are, is know who your client is exactly. Like be able to see that person in your mind. A lot of people have trouble with this and they say, I can help everybody. Everybody is my audience. But guess what? No, everybody is not your audience because the world is such a noisy place. How much information do you get coming at you every single day? How many emails do you get that you don't even open because you are, you, there's so much that you're receiving. So if you want people to hear you, you have to speak their problem, right? Like for my clients, their problem is they want to start a business, but they don't know how, or they want to grow their business and they don't know how. I need to speak to those women specifically. I have made this mistake in my own business where I wanted to reach everybody and I wanted to help everybody uh, become more accountable and achieve their goals. But I've really figured out you know who I want to help? I want to help the woman who wants to grow her business, get it out of her head, or like scale her business in a way that like feels good for her lifestyle. So that's who I'm speaking to now. And if, if that doesn't resonate with you, you're not still here on this video, right? So once my client last night learned, oh, this is my audience. Like I wanted her to see the person who's sitting in front of her as she's giving her workshop. Once she could see the person and what they, then the next question is, well, what do they need to know? Okay, this is what I need them to, to learn. This is what I'm going to teach them. Like it's easy once you know who's sitting in front of you, you know what they don't know yet, what they need to know, what they need to hear. But the most important thing is how do they need to hear it? What kind of words do your, does your audience need to hear? And I want you to think of this as writing a love letter to your people. You need to speak to them in the language that they can hear. You need to use the words that they use to describe their pain. And if you're not sure of what the words are, then you're doing your business a disservice and you're doing your clients a disservice. So what I teach to my clients is know exactly who your audience is. And if you don't know that yet, you got to learn how to do that. There's lots of, there's lots of information out there on how to do that. Find your ideal client. Many, many, many of my clients will resist getting a specific audience in mind because they're like, I want to help everybody. And guess what? When you help everybody, you are spinning around like a crazy person. I want you to stop spinning. I want you to just focus and take action. And the way that you do that is to know who you help. That's the very first step. The second step is what words do they use that you learn from talking to them? You don't have to fix their problem. You don't have to like sell anything to them. Just talk to them. How do they describe their problem? These are the foundational things for business. It makes everything easier. You know who you're speaking to and how to speak to them. Oh my God, your website becomes easier. You can write your business plan. You can do a Facebook post. You can do a Facebook Live. Like here I am doing a Facebook Live on a topic that will speak to my audience. Do you want more clients? Of course you do. That's why you're in business. We're not here for shits and giggles, people. We're here to help other people and make money doing it. There is no shame in that. So how do you do that? 
you got to get really clear on that. And that's what I'll be teaching in my, thanks Jackie, so true, right? Like once you got really clear on who you helped, you, then you could f figure out, oh, they need a workshop or they need a very specific kind of offer. Like once you knew the words that they were using to describe their problem, boom. You know, I've got a client who is a hypnotherapist and uh, she talks about making friends with food. And I'm actually challenging her, like, is that the words that her clients use to describe their problem? And uh, what she's realized is like she's learning so much about how her clients talk about food that it helps her like change up how she presents to people and what she says to people. I've seen her show up in a way with her business that just feels like she's loving. You might be telling yourself, I don't want to speak to my people. They don't want to hear from me. Yes, they do. Because you solve their problem. You want them to get an email from you and be like, oh, thank God Jackie's in my inbox today because I don't know what to wear to that thing I have to go to next week. This reminds me, I need to reach out to her and ask her about that, right? Like Jackie's a wardrobe stylist. I, If I need help with that and she's in my inbox and she's speaking my language, I'm going to be like, that's my girl. I got to go talk to her. So who are your people and what words do they use to describe their own problems? Use the words that they tell you right back at them. Here's what I learned. When I first started my business back in 2016, I thought that the women I wanted to work with were talking about taking action and, and goals and getting shit done. And they, they like those words, but those aren't the words that they use to describe their problem. My clients will say, I can't get out of my own way. I'm so frazzled all the time. I feel like I'm throwing spaghetti against the wall. Nothing seems to be working. Jackie says, thanks for the reminder that I need to send out an email to my list. Yes, please send out emails every week to your list. Once a week, they wanna hear from you. And if they don't and they unsubscribe, that's perfect because they're not your perfect client. And so when I show up for my clients because they're throwing spaghetti against the wall, they're frazzled, you know what I do? My helping is to bring them down, to remind them, just take one little step today. What's the one thing that you can do? And you gotta be focused about it. Let's get focused. That's why my clients want to hear from me because I speak their language. If you're not spending your time listening to what other people are saying, the people who will become your raving fans, the people who will become your clients, if you're not listening to them, of course you're spinning around. You don't, you're, you're throwing spaghetti against the wall. What do your people need? And then how can you give it to them? So here I am in service giving this away because I want you to take action in a really focused way. You need some information to do that. So here I am loving on you, reminding you that you can do hard things, reminding you that you can be uncomfortable and you will not die. And let's get focused. Who do you help? And what's their problem? How do they describe their problem? I hope this is helpful for you. I'm going to be giving a workshop online about this in May. I'll be doing it a couple of times. If you're not on my email list and you want to find out about when I'm doing this, drop me either a, a private message or shoot me a, a comment below and I'll be happy to tell you about it. This is like, you can know that you have to do this, but how to do it is really hard to know. And also why to do it is kind of like, um, you have to, it screws with your mind a little bit. So I'll teach you about that. Thanks mom for the love. I appreciate it. And thank you for showing up. Let me know uh, if you're watching this in a replay or live and it'll be here for you later. Bye.